So the first day of school for the majority of students, of course, August 17th. What will that day actually look like? Well, first and foremost, it's going to look like this, right? You're going to be at home in front of a device. Guilford County Schools says students will log on between 730 and 840 in the morning. Students will get an email with information. The first three weeks will be pre-recorded learning. And during those three weeks, that's when your child's teacher will set up a virtual or in-person orientation. After three weeks, the lessons will be live. Teachers will be teaching live. We'll see more live instruction. We'll also be making sure that live instruction is recorded so that we can assist parents uh, with their flexible schedules. So if they cannot assist parents, uh, uh, their children during the day, they can assist them during the weekends and uh, in the evenings. Well, Guilford County Schools will be ordering 78,000 devices, including 1,400 MacBook Airs for K through 3 teachers, 20,000 iPads for students, and about 56,000 ThinkPads and Chromebooks for grades 4 through 12 and for teachers and assistants as well. Now, what about the internet connection? Well, there are 125 smart school buses to be used as hotspots and positioned in various neighborhoods. Many school parking lots will be internet sites as well. But in the north and in the east, they have all kinds of cell tower issues making connectivity a problem. The district is looking at creating in-school sites for students to complete work. Parents, you need to email the district and let them know that you're interested in this. Now, what about when we go back to school in person, how will the buses work? We've been asked, why is this so difficult? Why can't you reopen more quickly? It's been a challenge trying to figure out the transportation with only transporting uh, half the students that we've been able to transport in the past. Keep this in mind, it used to be 50 to 60 kids on one bus. Now it's going to be 20 students total on one bus because of social distancing, which is why all students will not be able to go to school every single day. And of course, they split the schedule scenarios to four different things. All of these are being discussed. They'll be voted on in September.